Hello everyone, welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. Today we're doing a full tour of my Windy Rocky Park. Been working on this since May, but we got it done. And you see right here is the entrance. Now a lot of people are asking how I make my entrance. To be honest, it's very simple. I just add a path, some mountains and planters and lights. Nothing special going on, but it does help you progress. And planters and lights are important because if you look at this, lights, it just makes your park much more lively. But without further ado, this is the entrance. Let's get on to the main course. Now once you're settling in your hotels and whatnot, then we head to the monorail. There's four areas in this park, so we're going to jump in to our first exhibit. It's what I really love to build. It's a walk inhibit with multiple species of dinosaurs. Now this reason why it's called Windy Rocky is because the whole park supposed to be built around rocks as you could see nothing but rocks but since it does take a lot of my time i have to abandon the whole theme but this is some sort of like a little glimpse of how i worked with the park until it falls out so this is our first exhibit it's a walk-in habitat exhibit i really love making unique exhibits so this is one of them where guests can walk a long path but there's dinosaurs right between them so they get a good look at what species of dinosaurs we have in this attraction you could watch while walking in a path or you could watch in a far view right like this woman right here some of our species that we do have are our spiky sauropod armargosaurus our archaeorthomimus Dryosaurus, one of our fan favorites, and of course our rare edition, the Hoangasaurus. So keep out a look for that. Guys, please give it a like or comment down below how what you think about this attract this exhibit right here. I really do want to hear some advice, some criticism. It really does help me grow as a builder. So please and thank you. possibly my favorite build it's an aviary in the middle with a habitat around it i really had fun making unique exhibits such as this some other dinosaurs that we do have is our very popular pachycephalosaurus and our cute armored dinosaur right there our Crichtonsaurus. this is another view side where you can see at the back of the habitat and in this side as you can see guests can see our lovely dinosaurs right where they're walking past the line here they'll see our sauropod our camarasaurus and our lovely ceratopsian chasmosaurus now we're inside the aviary we have two of our flying reptile species our barbara dactylus and our pterodon Now again, this is a, a bird's eye view of our ha my habitat here. It's one of my favorite builds. I really enjoy this. Again, making unique type of habitats. I say just have that in your list if you want to start building a park. So now we'll go next door and honestly, this is possibly my least favorite. But again, you do what you have to do to make a good habitat exhibit so this is basically a tunnel ride where you're going inside a tunnel and you'll see dinosaurs in this huge window gap 
you see this in zoos more often so here is another view of our ride and here is the nighttime so it kind of acts like a little cave we don't have caves in Jurassic World Evolution 2 so we have to improvise on what we have I'll say it does work but caves would be fine and here is the window to view our dinosaurs some of our species we have is our Pachyrhinosaurus right here and our playful Edmontosaurus. We also have our zebra-like Gallimimus, one of my favorite skins. Zebras are one of my favorite animals. So, And of course, we have our endangered Sauropelta. So you guys could see these in our lovely tunnel ride attraction over here. Now we'll head into the aviary section. I have two aviaries but this is very unique because it looks like an outlet and again once you go to nighttime you get a colorful vision like this so I advise to use lights and your parks inside of your aviaries make it colorful make it bright and shiny again it doesn't need to make any sense there's no such pattern it would look beautiful nonetheless this aviary is a little bit different than the aviary that we have in the beginning because this is more like a gyrosphere ride so you will see our flying pterosaurs up close and personal not only that but guests can also see the lights as well inside the aviary Okay, now we are going to our favorite attractions here. Guests really love our little carnivore aisle here. We have four species of carnivores so far. I'm still planning to add more carnivores, but this is what we have. Here's a bird's eye view of some of the attractions. Some of my favorite builds in Habitat is like some sort of view side where there is no fence around, tables, etc. And I'll get to show that in just a second. Only problem though is that guests cannot sit down and enjoy the dinosaur far hand. So we get like this empty space. But let's check some of our species here. Of course, we have our rare and most dangerous Indoraptor. We have two, we have a male and a female. Here that they just caught a carcass and they're just chowing down. Guests can also see in our lovely viewing tower right over in the distance. We also have Coelophysis and again as you can see from the far, we'll get to show it in a minute, it's like some sort of cave area where guests can actually see our Coelophysis eating. Here's our other habitat build. This is possibly one of my favorite builds because it's so unique. Again you have a little seating area where you see the the dinosaurs right in the distance and this is one of my favorite versions of the raptors the lost world tiger raptor as i will say so we have two male tiger raptors and we have four female tiger raptors so those are the females and here's our male 
But what's good about this is that there's a little window here where guests can actually see our raptors eating from their little feeder. And of course, we have our main attractions, our Caracarodontid dinosaurs, our Caracarodontosaurus. We have two, a male and a female. And guests can watch while they're in a walkway, a pathway, or a viewing gallery. And here's our other glimpse of our Caracarodontosaurus. Now again, the park isn't really finished. Again, if you see right here, there's some empty spaces. So when next DLC do come, we could come back here and add more dinosaurs as we please. Yes, there's a little bit of dinosaurs here, but I rather focus on more of the aesthetics of how to build habitats like the walk-in, the aviary, the tunnel, and a view side. Hopefully I could make a video of how to do such a habitat such as these so you can make your habitats more unique and interesting. But with that being said, please leave a like if you do like this park building, this tour building. Please leave a comment of what you think about the park. What do I need to improve? What advice that you guys would leave me i'm open for any suggestions um subscribe to see more builds more park tours i do jurassic world evolution 2 videos but i'm also going to step and play other games as well so this is not just a jurassic world evolution 2 content but without further ado this is going to be another final scene of my park the windy rocky national valley Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.